The 400 persons arrested following the clash between the police and Shiite members on Tuesday will be charged with terrorism. The police spokesman who disclosed this appeal for calm among residents of Abuja. Now this is coming amid the short down of many schools in the Karo area on the outskirts of the nation's capital. Sifonia Sien reports. Residents in neighborhoods along the Abuja Kefi Road that witnessed the clash between protesting Shiites and soldiers of the Nigerian army are yet to get over the experience. In Karu, there is an uneasy calm largely because of its proximity to the scene of the Monday clash that resulted in the loss of lives. The apprehension is the reason many schools have been shut down. Adebayo Lubi is the proprietor of this primary school. He says he had to shut down the school following the growing security concerns. The number of children that um, come to the school was far lesser than what we normally have. So we have a uh, 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 parent calling to complain that because of what is happening, you know, they don't want to get trapped. So they, they prefer their children staying at home. So looking at the number of children that resumed yesterday, which was Tuesday, and then the calls we are still you know, receiving from parents and also association of schools making decision that um, for the safety of the school and the safety of the children, it's better the children stay at home. He shows me the text message he sent out on Tuesday informing parents and guardians yeah, of the idea. decision. Wow. So we have to find a way to communicate to our parents yesterday um, that the children should stay at home till um, Friday, um, 2nd of November. After watching uh, what is happening, if things get better, uh, definitely we'll resume back. But uh, we hope things get better. Many of the schools in this neighborhood have shut down operations due to security concerns. On this street alone, there are three schools, but none of them is open to proper learning until Friday. The school on the hill overseeing the scene of the clash was shut in the aftermath of the violence. We gathered that in the height of the clash, many of the rampaging protesters ran behind it for cover. Downhill, the shutdown of the schools is affecting businesses. Early morning, I know our business is early morning. So those going to school, they come to buy snacks, drinks and things like that. But since that yesterday, we have not been experiencing any patronage. We've not been seeing people, many children are not going to school, you know, because of the incidents. But the police urge residents to put the experience behind them. I want uh, all the residents of FCT and uh, in general all Nigerians that listen to us who are coming and going out of FCT, uh, probably those who own businesses and uh, schools and other outfits, uh, to know that uh, the situation at hand has been dealt with appropriately. The police is on top of the game and uh, we have restored peace and normalcy since yesterday incident. So everybody that has one or two things to do, what it has to do with their day-to-day -day activity, should feel free to go ahead and do so. For now, the area remains calm. Sifon Asian, TVC News, Abuja.